Overview Two air conditioning packs are used to supply air for the flight deck and passenger cabin. A single pack is capable of supplying all air conditioning requirements should one fail. A ram air system may be used during an emergency descent for ventilation following pressurization failure or for ventilation following smoke in the cabin from the air conditioning system. An avionics cooling fan provides airflow to cool the instrument panels, the avionics bay and to ventilate the forward galley area. A heating and ventilation system is provided for the animal bay. Introduction The air conditioning packs are used to control the temperature and humidity of the air. The number one pack is supplied with bleed air from the left air supply system. The number two pack is supplied from the right air supply system. What supplies the left air system? Pack one supplies air to the flight deck and the passenger cabin. Pack 2 normally supplies air to the passenger cabin only. Pack 2 will supply both the cabin and the flight deck if Pack 1 fails. Air supplied to the cabin exits through sidewall vents and various vents on the flight deck before passing through floor vents to the underfloor area and escaping through the discharge outflow valves. Packs Air is allowed into each pack by a pack valve which is pneumatically actuated and controlled by a pack switch on the air conditioning panel. Indication of pack valve operation is given by a pressure switch in the pack outlet, illuminating a pack valve nips indication. Each pack may be operated in either fresh or recirc mode. When fresh is selected, the pack valve is fully open to allow maximum airflow through each pack. With recirc selected, bleed air passing through each pack valve is restricted and a recirculation valve is opened in the cabin. This allows cabin air to be drawn into the outlet of each pack to supplement airflow to the same mass flow rate as fresh mode. The recirculation valve is pneumatically actuated from the right side air supply system and controlled from the air conditioning panel. Recirc valve indicates that the recirculation valve is not in the position selected. When performing a takeoff with engine bleed selected on, fresh must not be selected because of the extra bleed load from the engines. Fresh will automatically be selected when the standby generator operates to provide increased cooling to the generator. Or cabin high alt is illuminated. Or only one pack is operating.
The pack reduces the temperature of bleed air by the use of heat exchangers and an air cycle machine called a cold air unit. Air enters the heat exchangers through an inlet at the base of the fin and exits from each pack through exhausts on either side of the fuselage. If the temperature of the air in the cold air unit is too high, cold air unit high temp will illuminate and the pack will automatically shut down. Temperature control is achieved by mixing cooled air with hot bleed air. Mixing of the cold and hot air in the required amounts is achieved by a temperature control valve on each pack. When the flight deck temp control or cabin temp control are selected to auto, flight deck and cabin temperatures are controlled automatically by rotating the appropriate temperature controller. Automatic mode allows temperatures of between 17 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius to be selected. Temperature may be controlled manually by selecting manual and directly controlling the position of the temperature control valve by use of the cool warm control. Cabin temperature is indicated on the cabin temp gauge. Pack outlet duct temperatures are indicated on separate gauges. A temperature switch in the outlet duct illuminates a pack high temp annunciator when the temperature exceeds 105 degrees Celsius. The pack will then automatically shut down. Distribution. Air is distributed from packs 1 and 2 to the sidewall outlets in the cabin. A cabin fan circulates air through the outlets on the passenger service units, the toilets and the galleys. Air from pack 1 is ducted to the following flight deck outlets. Rear floor vents side console outlets, forward floor vents, windscreen demist, roof flood. As a customer option, a low pressure ground supply may be fitted to provide ground based air conditioning. A flight deck fan circulates air from the right side rear vent to the overhead adjustable roof outlets and the instrument panel cooling. A RAM air system allows the cabin to be ventilated at low altitude following failure of the air conditioning system. RAM air is controlled by a switch on the air conditioning panel. This switch is normally selected to the shut position. During ground operations, the air supply from pack 1 can be diverted from the cabin to the flight deck by selecting flight deck air on. This is a customer option and air high flow illuminates when selected. Avionics cooling. 
Two AC-powered cooling fans, only one of which will be active, are located in the forward cargo compartment. The active fan is selected using a Fan 1, Fan 2 switch, located either on the first officer's instrument panel or in the avionics bay. Failure of the active fan is indicated by avionics fan off on the air conditioning panel. The fan 1 fan 2 switch allows the alternative fan to be selected following a failure of the active fan. The selected fan operates whenever AC bus 1 is powered. If AC bus 1 fails, the fan will automatically switch to AC bus 2. The fan draws air from the avionics bay for cooling of electrical equipment and the instrument panels and also provides ventilation for the forward galley. Air from the fans is exhausted into a cavity in the front cargo compartment, past a smoke detector and overboard through the forward discharge outflow valve. Animal Bay Heat For those aircraft fitted with an animal bay, heat and ventilation is provided by selecting Animal Bay Heat on the first officer's instrument panel. For the system to operate, the animal bay door must be closed and unlocked. External checks. During the external checks, the ram air inlet at the base of the fin and each pack outlet must be checked clear. The condition of the low pressure ground connector must be checked and the door closed. Pre-flight. After APU start, both packs should be checked off and the ram air valve shut. APU air can be selected on after one minute. The flight deck and cabin temp controls should be set to auto. The auto temp selectors and the flight deck and cabin fans should be set as required before the packs are selected on. Cabin air may be set to fresh or recirc as required. Under normal conditions, one pack with recirc selected should be used, but both packs with fresh may be used in very hot or cold ambient conditions. Recirc should be used in hot and humid conditions to reduce fog from the air conditioning vents. If the APU generator is being used for engine start, both packs and APU air must be selected off immediately before start. Selecting cabin air to fresh will remove the recirc valve indication.
After engine start, the packs may be selected on with air supplied from either the APU or the engines depending on the required takeoff bleed configuration. In flight, if the takeoff or landing is performed with engine bleed selected on, cabin air must be selected to recirc to minimize performance loss following an engine failure. Post flight. Before leaving the aircraft, the packs and APU air are selected off before the APU is stopped. The flight deck fan and cabin fan switches are selected off. Pack high temp. If a temperature greater than 105 degrees Celsius is detected in the pack outlet duct, the pack will automatically shut down and pack high temp will illuminate. The pack must be switched off and temp control selected to manual. The temperature control valve must now be manually motored to cool by selecting the relevant temp control to cool for 20 seconds. The pack may be selected back on, but the duct temperature must be monitored closely and maintained above 3 degrees Celsius. Cold air unit, high temp. When cold air unit, high temp illuminates, the pack will automatically shut down. The relevant pack must be selected off and remain off for the remainder of the flight. Pack valve nips. If pack valve illuminates when the pack is switched off, select the pack back on, then off. If the enunciator remains lit, then the pack valve may have failed in the open position. Pack valve may illuminate under any of the following conditions. If the APU is supplying air up to 15,000 feet, cabin pressurization will still be maintained, however engine air should be used as soon as possible. with one pack being supplied by one engine. 
but should extinguish when N2 is increased above 80%. If altitude is high and N2 is low, but should extinguish with a small increase in N2. If none of the above conditions apply, the relevant pack should be selected off. If a pack is switched off above 15,000 feet and it is being supplied by an engine whose fay deck has failed, the outer wing and tail anti-ice must be selected on.